So, um, for those of you who just newly subscribed to me, um, you won't have to uh, go back and, and follow a whole bunch of other videos to follow this new series that I'm going to do in the coming months. Um, and for those of you who've been subscribed a long time, this will be something fresh. So, I'm the kind of guy, I've got... Uh, no health insurance because I am somewhere between self and unemployed at the moment and every time I get on a union job it takes 90 days to build up your uh, your credits for health care and yet uh, I get on a construction job and I'll be laid off you know around the 80th day you know and most construction jobs don't last that long it's just, uh, it is what it is. So, I decided that uh, because I'm facing a very large health care bill, I decided to try to use uh, my veterans benefits and sign up with the VA. Now, the last person that I had heard uh, that had to deal with the VA on and, and made videos about it on YouTube. That was Schizophrenic Queen. And, uh, yeah, I already had this sour taste in my mouth for uh, government medicine because of my time in the Army. And for the last uh, 10 years since I've left the Army, I have not used any government medicine programs at all. I used the health insurance that I got from the jobs that I worked. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, I was discharged from the Army with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and I take a pill every day for it, and it basically replaces thyroid hormones that uh, I wouldn't normally have because I don't have a thyroid anymore. My body's immune system ate it. And uh, it started some other complications where I actually need um, some other hormones in my body regulated and because of these other hormones aren't the same as my thyroid which has already been checked out before this necessitates a MRI scan now the last time I had an MRI scan uh, it was of my lower pelvis and abdomen my lower abdomen and pelvis rather anyways um, if you can tell me the difference between those two areas generally for an MRI, I would really appreciate it because each of those uh, slices of me, those scans, um, cost $2,500 uh, and that was after a car accident. And I'm the one who paid that money uh, out of pocket and had that money floating around in the air in, in the insurance world for 13 months until it got back to me. That's, that's quite a chunk of money. And I imagine that uh, if they're trying to do what they want to do with this MRI, they are wanting many different ways, you know, up, down, left, right, to be able to scan uh, parts of my body because they're trying to rule out cancer. Problem is, I don't think I have cancer, and uh, I've been, since, since I found out I had this problem, it's been two years of me trying to get back onto health insurance to try to get that MRI scan. And, uh, yeah, I figured I'd, I figure I'd uh, have some other symptoms by now. <laughs> um, but uh, it is very commonly linked to a thyroid condition to have these other conditions. It's, it's not common at all to have this other thing be due to cancer. It's just they need to cover their asses before they can prescribe these other medications. So they won't give me these medicines that I do need. My blood levels do show that I do need these other medications. And yet, uh, it, you know, they, they feel good about like requiring that I have this MRI first. And, and I tell them, well, I'm paying out of pocket and it's it's too steep. I, don't, I can't pay for that. And they're like, well, until you can, uh, we're not prescribing you any medication.
and paying out of pocket just for the uh, for the medication that I do still take. It costs about $100 for a general practitioner and another 100 for a blood test once a year to get this refilled for the year. And I have to take that blood test every year, and that same blood test shows them that I have those other hormone levels out of whack. Anyways, I really, really was not uh, wanting to do this, but I, I just... I felt like I had to get it done, and last Christmas or so, I made a, a pact with somebody else who had a health problem that we would both get our things fixed, uh, and we would, you know, egg each other on to, to try to, you know, do this like the buddy system. And didn't really follow through on my side, um, and I just felt like, you know, it's time for me to start uh, taking care of me. So I went down to the VA and tried to sign up for some health care. Um, all of this is related directly to the reason why I was... Uh, well, the reason I became a disabled veteran and the reason why I did not re-enlist. Um, so I, I uh, went down last month and I signed up at the front desk of a clinic uh, to try to get some medical benefits to try to get seen by a VA doctor. Um, I knew going in there that I wasn't going to get an, uh, an appointment right away. Okay? Uh, I was just trying to apply to get into their uh, VA medical system. So uh, that was a month ago, and today I got a letter from the VA. Uh, and it's a form letter. It's not really uh, a letter that was addressed to me. It says, Dear Veteran, uh, yeah, and it's, they, they basically made copies of it and, and then wrote in the date, and I think they copied both the signature and the date, and they just, like, probably sent this out to a whole bunch of people. But here's what it says. Dear Veteran, as you know, you have registered with the Department of Veteran Affa Veterans Affairs for health care at the Colorado Springs VA Clinic at 25 North Spruce Street. We are experiencing a high volume of registrations at this time. Veterans will be given appointments as they become available. You will be notified of your appointment by letter. We sincerely apologize for any frustration the delay in obtaining an appointment may cause. We understand the distress that medical conditions can create and hope that we will be able to address those issues once you are assigned to your provider and have your initial appointment. I'm not that mad. I, I was kind of prepared to have a wait. Um, but this had one line here that uh, it was another level of fail for me, you know, as a veteran trying to get health care. And, and that is, you will be notified of your appointment by letter. In my opinion, as a veteran, I believe that if the VA hospitals are not running uh, on a system whereby your appointment, once they decide that you have an appointment, happens before a letter would get to your house, then there's something wrong. I don't think that sending letters to a veteran's address is the correct way to schedule appointments with these veterans. I think they might need a little bit more funding. Or, you know, if you're going to look at it conservatively, I think they need to uh, reassess where their funding is already and maybe both but uh yeah <laughs> uh when i get the next letter um i will make another video and we'll see how long it takes for a veteran to get some health care through the uh veterans affairs for health care system And uh, 
I, I, this is not something that like, uh, is life threatening for me at all. And it's not like, uh, I, I, I'm hurting at all. Um, it's going to cost me about $200 to get my next prescription for this. And I'm a, that's going to come out of pocket, but, uh, I can handle that. Um, yeah. And because it takes this long to get a, a an appointment, I know that my my next it, I have like three more refills, so my next appointment uh, with them will probably be after my last refill. So I'm going to have to use my own money out of pocket with a private doctor to uh, just get my refill, which normally is just a, a bunch of uh, pencil pushing for for any GP. But uh, no worries, I'm not I'm not dying here. But if I were, um, I don't know that they would uh, that they would be able to get in, in in touch with me in time because, dang, <laughs> you know, a month later I get a letter saying sorry for the wait. Um, wait for another letter, and in that much time, I know that a lot of people. Uh, might not be in a good way. Subscribe Schizophrenic Queen. Um, she has some really uh, moving videos about this subject as well when she tried to get some uh, medical care through the VA. Later.